Let's explore another way to get attention to our images by using graphics. Let's go into our Chapter 4 folder and open up this little guy right here. What do you say? I know he's looking at that cookie and thinking, should I dunk it in this milk like the commercials, or should I just eat it? It's his birthday, and what I want to do for his birthday is give him a really kind of cool card or graphic for his birthday. Now, we've looked at effects, and we could do some things here too, but you've got filters and styles and effects up here. I want to explore graphics down here. So go ahead and select graphics, and you have a ton of stuff here. Instead of saying show all, I'm going to say by type, and then choose the type I want over here. Like, for example, I think I want to put them in like a frame. What do you say? So we go to frames. Now, in frames, oh, you just got anything you want. We could spend a day and a half just playing around with what's going on right here. There's a distressed gold frame. Let's try that. Notice it says downloading the asset. That's because I've never downloaded that one before. So you do kind of need a connection to the Internet to make that happen. Okay, here's the image. Up here, I've got some controls. Number one, I can make it larger if I want to, or smaller. But you get to the point where you do that. You don't want to do that. Okay, so I get it right about like that. I can come in here if I want to and move it around. This button here allows me to rotate it if I want to. And this one, if I click it, allows me to get another photo. You like what you see? Click the check mark. If you double click again, they come back. So let me get out of there. So I like that. I think that's pretty cool. We can change it later if we want to. I think it needs a good background too. What do you say? So let's go back over here and change that to backgrounds. Now, again, there's a ton of backgrounds, all kinds of things. I'm looking for more a birthday-ish kind of thing. Well, here's a teddy bear. Here's a dinosaur. And although this one does say birthday, I think I'm going teddy bear. He looks like a teddy bear. Here we go. We got that going like that, and that looks pretty cool. What I want to do now is maybe add a few other elements to it to make it a little bit neater. So if we come up here under background, we can change that to something called shapes. Now in shapes, you get black and white kind of shapes. I don't want those. I'm going to come over here again and go into graphics. On graphics, you got all kinds of things. Here's a crazy cat. Let me move down. You got a bunny. Let's try that one. Now these are all vector, which is the good news which means when I make them bigger and commit, they redraw and they're nice and pretty. Okay, what else we got in here? Well, there's a teddy bear. Let's try that. Now, the cool thing about this, let me go ahead and move him, say, over to here, is that if we go back to layers, you will notice that everything is in a separate layer, which makes this very nice because we can still control, turn them on and off, get rid of them, try something else. You're in control. You're in control of everything that's going on. Now, could we now apply an effect maybe to the photograph? That will work sometimes. Sometimes it may not work the way you expect it to, but let's try. Let's go in and select him right there. Go into effects. Maybe something like old photo. Now, notice it says the use saturation is not currently available. Now, your choice is, well, maybe I should try something else, or let's see what happens if I continue. It tells me I'm trying to edit a photo in a frame layer, but it first must be simplified, which could cause resolution problems later on. I'm going to click OK. Let's see what it does. If we don't like it, we can always undo it. Interesting. Now let's do one more graphic while we're here. How about a balloon? Some of these things are already downloaded onto your system. Some aren't. Maybe give it a little bit of a change like that. Commit, and there you go. So effects, graphics, basically are ways to draw attention to what you're doing. When I began this chapter, remember what I said, is that you don't want to draw too much attention to the effects, because it is the image and the message that you're really trying to do something with. Let's go ahead and close out of this. And we don't have to save it, unless you want to. And there you go.